Hey family, hey, what's up with it? How you guys doing? <laughs> wow, right? Okay, first let's start off by saying that it is February 1st. Yeah, February 1st. February 1st, 2016, and it is about 11.29 in the a.m. And I come on to just catch you guys up. You know, talk about a few things. You know, thank you guys for a lot. And that's what we doing, you know. But first, we got to clear the room because we got some motherfuckers in here that might not be able to do this on today. Yes, we're going to need Bernard Powell, Vertrail, uh, Juanita, uh, Dolores, um, and who else? Uh, let's say maybe Roslyn. We're going to need all y'all chef watching, which way is up, car wash. Yeah, all y'all motherfuckers that can't handle us on today, we're going to need y'all to go ahead on the exit stage right. Clyde, you in charge of the door today. You know what? You done moved on up. We're going to need you to walk all these motherfuckers up out of this piece right here. Now, I'm going to need the rest of y'all that got a problem with such things that I say. You know, the holier than thou ones. Go ahead on and bless this bitch and go on out the door. You know what I'm saying? Go on and just douse a little something on the screen. Just douse just something on the screen on your way out, okay? All right. Well, wow, family, um, where do I begin? Um, first, I want to start off by thanking you guys. You know what? Last month was one of the most... <sighs> family, I, I don't, you know, it's like, where do I go? You know, you guys showed me major, 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 major love last month and i'd like to thank all of you guys that have become be, started watching my channel that never watched my channel before and you just kind of getting a little whiff up and like wait a minute this bitch is really crazy but she cool though you know what i like to thank you guys for coming and even subscribing to my channel um you know i've never been one to really push 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 you know subscribe 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 i've never been one to do that and back when everybody was buying them i never even bought any you know what I'm saying? Run my IP address, you know what I'm saying? But now that I know that me and, and you know, I got some friends up there at the office, well, you know, they done ran my shit through and through. And they was like, you know what? You really have ran a really, really clean um, channel. You know, because, you know, after a while, they do begin to, you know, especially when um, they're looking at you to do certain things. They're looking at you, you know, to excel to a certain type of level. You know, they really do some backgrounds on your motherfucking ass to really see, you know, is this really worth their time. And so I thank you guys because I am now going back to headquarters and I'm going up there. We go, you know what I'm saying? We got we got some things to discuss. And so I got that email um, last week and the phone call last week. So, girl, I will be there. Don't you worry. I'm there. Um, and um, let me roll that into, guys. Do you know... Last month, um, I had well over 600,000 views for the month. And I had never, ever, ever reached those type of numbers. And so when I first got the email, we were like, I don't know, like 475,000 or something like that. And see, last month was like 400 and something thousand last month. And so... Um, but you know, when I had went down, um, back in November, um, you know, so it, it was some things part of the meeting that, you know, that, that I'm just, listen, I'm just grateful. I'm thankful and I am quite humble. And I just thank you guys, you know, everybody, everybody from corporate, um, to my Australian family. Um, yes, I just... And my Sweden family, I just, Switzerland, I just, you know, I just thank you guys so, 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 so much. And meeting up with you guys um, at uh, Space LA in November was, that was one of the best things ever that, um, that I've done in a long time. And the, the, the push that it gave on my channel and on my platform and i've been trying to do my homework um i've been getting you guys emails and shit yeah, telling me what it is that i need to do and shout out to my girl um sunny hilltop 
she had did my banner for me. She had sent me a message. And so she said, Tina, I could do a banner for you. And so she put, you know, she hooked me up and did my banner on my channel and stuff. And, um, and so now I'm, you know, I'm working on more things, um, and more branding things and different things that it's a lot going on right now. And I'm just, I'm just so thankful, you know, and then to reach for the month of January, well over 600,000 views for the month. I've never, ever pushed those type of numbers on this platform. Now, I've done 400,000 before. Um, back a few years ago, I think I've done 400,000 mm, once. I've done quite a bit of 300,000. And then most of the time, I'm somewhere within um, 200, 225, 250,000 view range. That has been my norm. So when it jumped that way, um, it was, you know, they was like, oh my God, you know, and I was too. And so I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thankful and I'm, I'm grateful. And I know it, without you guys, you know, I mean, y'all watching and I'm not mad at it, you know, and I know some people dig it. Some people don't. Some motherfuckers, you know, really have a problem with certain things that I say. Um, but I don't do videos for children. Um, my videos and shit, this is for, for, for some grown folks that like to cut up, like me. My shit is for grown folks that like to have a good time, like me. That's communicable, um, that is a chameleon, if you will, can go from here to there, impromptu type people. I'm one of them. You know, I'm a Virgo through and through. I'm a good person. I don't ask for no more than what I'm willing to give, you know. And so... You know, I, that that's what that's what my my channel caters to. Um, but I do have sixty five percent of my viewers are men. Wow, ain't that some shit? Y'all be watching. What y'all be doing? Do y'all be rubbing one out? I mean, just go and tell me. Really, tell me, because it's like I mean, because I'm always talking about y'all. I'm always putting my girls up on you guys' game, and the reason why I do is because. You know, um, I've been fortunate enough to have married young and, you know, I've been through a lot of peaks and valleys in my life. And I, along the way, I've met so many different people of so many different walks of life that do so many cool things. And, um, and I've, I've rolled with the haves and the have nots and, you know, to come out on this end you know, pretty much unscathed, you know, um, I'm bruised, but I'm not broken, you know, and I'm just as strong as ever. I feel good. This is the, the healthiest I've ever been in my life. Um, I have, I was going through some different stressful events in the latter portion of 2014. 2014 was, whoa, I mean, I had a lot going on with the house. I was doing a lot. Um, and then, you know, I was making some transitions, too. And so, 2014, kind of, you know, I was going through some things. Um, 2015, the beginning of 2015, kind of, yeah, so, you know, whatever. I was going through some things, and, um, but not real detrimental stuff. It was like, 2014, I had to, you know, I had to come to the generalization that, you know, some things that I had to do. And so in 2015, it was merely me carrying on after the decisions that I made. So, you know, it, it was cool. And then so, uh, uh, so the second half of 2015, um, you know, I began to get more and more healthy, start, you know, I got back to, you, you know, really tending to me and um, getting more, um, more meditative. You know, I, I began to, you know, uh, kind of um, internalize things and kind of cleanse myself from the inside out. And that um, kind of helped in so many things, so many aspects, my hair, um, my skin. Like now, um, speaking of my skin, I had I done a microdermabrasion on myself. I have my whole little microdermabrasion kit, yeah. And so, um, and so... Uh, I needed to really cleanse my face um, because now I'm doing different type of um, anti-aging um, 
a lot of uh, uh, beauty treatments for women of color and for my age group. Um, I am 44 years old, so, you know, I now I'm getting to a point where now I'm starting to really take care of me. I have an appointment next week about my fibroid. I'm finally going to go see about that bitch there. I kind of left that bitch alone. But I do have an appointment on the 10th. And so, you know, I am, you know, going to get back to that. Because um, really, truth be told, I'm tired of my motherfucking period. I don't give a damn what they tell me they need to do. Uh, put a bitch to sleep and let's handle. You know? So I, I'm like, I'm so over it already. But I just kind of walked away from that because it was a stressful time. That was a stressful event in my life. And I just kind of walked away, just kind of got numb to it. But now, you know... Um, that my thyroid, um, tends to, um, swell and then it goes down. And like right now, it's still slightly swollen, like you probably can see it a little bit, but then sometimes when it's really enlarged, it sometimes it gives me problems with swallowing and all kinds of stuff. So, um, I had went and I had to get an ultrasound on that. I'm still supposed to go and get this blood work done. I ain't done that because I'm supposed to fast. And so, um... So yeah, so I'm just working on me and but I'm I'm so I feel so strong and so healthy. And I attribute a lot of that to the meditation, to the alkaline lifestyle, to the prayer, you know, and to my sauna. Honestly, to be perfectly honest with you, I think all that right there is what got me here. And um and so another thing too is I'm not a makeup girl. Y'all already know it. I am not a makeup chick. I'm not, but I want to be, um, uh, a woman with very good skincare. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no facial hair. I don't want no bumps and this and that and this. I mean, yes, I got my moles, you know, I got, you know, my little skin tags and shit, you know, I got those things, but those are just my natural things. But I want, um, you know, a, a flawless canvas. I want clear skin. I don't want no this and that. And like right now, I'm having a couple of breakouts. And the reason why I believe my, I'm tri uh, attributing my breakouts to my pillowcases. Um, as you can see, I've stripped my bed. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take my shit to the laundromat. Um, I do have a couple pieces in the washing machine right now. But with all of my pillows, not those decorative pillows, but the pillows that I actually sleep on because I pull all this shit off my bed and stack it all up over here to the side. And, you know, and so actually now, so I'm just, you know, bleaching out because all of my linens on my bed is actually white. But I cover the white up with the cheetah print, you know. And so I sleep on top of that. A lot of times I don't sleep inside my sheets. I sleep on top of my bed, and I cover myself up with my Hello Kitty blanket, which is my favorite, and, um, you know, and that's how I usually sleep. I rarely um, sleep in my sheets anymore. I don't know. I just kind of sleep on top of the bed. I don't know. Anyway, it's just comfortable for me, but I have found that, um, and then, you know, my pillowcases and things are all cotton. So now that I'm in this holistic thing and now that I'm into this skincare thing and um, beauty for the woman of color type thing, I am um, um, looking to uh, do this arts and crafts project. Now, I went on Facebook. I told you guys that I had this dream Friday night and um, I had this turban on and I had made... Um, me some silk pillowcases, a full boudoir beauty pillow, silk pillowcases, and I made my on hit um my eye mask, and I had made me a turban, and I had um you know, and I made my uh, silk pillowcases, and so um so and I was talking about it on Facebook on Saturday, so after talking about it, um I decided that I'd get up and I'd go to Joanne's. And, um, so here's my little, good little Joanne's bag. And, um, so I have a question for you guys, because I know you guys are going to be like, Auntie, what color is that? Okay, here's my thread. This is the thread that I picked, but you guys know that I love pinks and purples, and purple is just royalty to me. Um, and so, you know, silk phrase, so just be cognitive of that. 
um, uh, cognizant. You know, some people say, oh, you don't say cognitive. You take, you say cognizant. I say whatever's clever. But, um, but yeah, um, it does, silk does fray like this. So don't, um, don't fray when you see that. Um, but actually my point was to have purple and I liked this iridescent and it depends on how you look at it, whether you look, you see a fuchsia color, which is the color of my in, uh, on my walls, it's like a hot pink fuchsia color, or depending on how you look at it, um, it would be purple. So um, all in all, I ended up, me and Tioni went, and I spent like $40, and I got a yard and a half, because like one pillowcase, like standard pillowcases, I think they're about uh, three quarters of a yard a piece. Um, to make um, one standard case. So actually I got like uh, on the boat, it was like um, just about a remnant. So she she sold it to me um, for, I think I got a yard and I think it's a little bit more than a yard and three quarters. And so um, with my coupon and everything, I think this was less than $20. But um, with my thread, and with this cute, cute, cute thing that um, my daughter picked out for me, um, I ended up spending like right at $41. And so um, I had this one and I had the big one. And I love um, I love my arts and crafts. And But I have so many, because you guys know I've been a bag lady. I've been a bag lady for a long motherfucking time. Bag lady from depression, anxiety, separation, anxiety, all those different things that I was going through, especially after the loss of my parents and, you know, the demise of my marriage, I was going through. So when you're going through, you tend to buy a whole lot of things, more shit than you actually need, really. And then you have all these sacks and bags and corners, and I was a bag lady. And so um, I have a lot of containers, but, you know, now I'm trying to condense my things, get rid of a lot of things, donate a lot of things, and give away a whole bunch of shit, you know, to kind of um, allow God to bring new things into my life and kind of push the old and the old memories and the old stuff out. So, um, as I'm going through this process, I'm buying and just kind of replacing some things. So, my daughter picked that out. And I had that one and I had the big one. And I wish I would have got the big one, too, because I even um, had a 25% off coupon that was off even your sale purchases that Joann's will match any other store's coupons. And um, they also give you a 10% military discount, but you just can't use them together. Um, so anyway, um, so yeah, I spent about $42 and I got my stuff to make my pillowcases and my eye mask and my turban. And, um, I got, um, uh, this cute little case. Um, and so me and my daughter, uh, we went to Ulta. That was our first time going and I bought a few things there, but I'm a, you know, I'm a short in my little beauty, um, treatment, um, for the women of color segments. It's going to be part of that stuff. So I got some really, really, really cool gadgets, top of the line, top notch gadgets, girls. Um, for one, I have the Janu. Um, I do have the Infinity Toner. I have my Microdermabrasion Kit. And so that's pretty much your staples that, um, you know, um, you're going to need, especially to have really, really good care, in my opinion, that that, that I'm going to need. Let me just say that, because everybody's to each his own. You know, you do what's according to, you know, um, if you have that type of disposable income to just, you know, do that, then cool. If not, then, hey, it's no problem. I'm going to still bring it to you anyway and um, show you what I'm using and what's working for me. Right now, I have on absolutely no makeup whatsoever. Nothing. This is just the way my shit looks now. I have been using my Infinity Toner. And I've been toning um, my face. And I've been... Um, um, one thing, two. Another thing. Um, I remember years ago when I got a microdermabrasion. And this um, my esthetician had used um, acetone. And cleansed my face with acetone. And for the last couple of days, I have been cleansing my face with acetone. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. Not, you know, really dousing your face and nothing like that. But more of a cotton swab and just kind of hitting it before um, I use my toner and before I um, 
Oh, and I also have um, red light treatment. Um, it's made by, what is it made by? I can't think of it right now. But anyway, yeah. Um, I have a red light treatment device, you know, for wrinkles and stuff. I don't even have wrinkles, but I bought it. Um, you know, and so I'm just going to try it and see how it works on our skin. Um, also, I don't have any whiskers. I have no facial hair whatsoever. I don't grow hair under my arms, girls. I don't grow hair uh, under my arms, on my arms, or on my legs. I got a little coochie hair, but not a whole lot. I was never really a bush, nappy bush girl. I was never that, really. You know, just, um, you know, now I'm all bald ego and I love it like that. You know what I'm saying? I keep my shit shaved. I don't like a lot of facial hair and I think that, uh, or body hair. I don't like a lot of body hair, shall I say. Because, you know, I think it holds on to odor and shit. You know, and I'm a little bit of a germaphobe too, believe it or not. I'm a little bit of a germaphobe and I, you know, I, I just like my space and my shit to just be clean and just like with acrylics and stuff i just have a problem with shit up under my nails shit on my hands i have a problem with that you know i really really have a problem with that and i just like for my shit to just be clear and clean and you know that it ain't gonna be no extra twist my shit is always gonna be edible ready and as i was saying on periscope the other day that, you know, because I think somebody had asked me about a good vaginal cleanser. And I was saying that, you know, I use uh, Vagisil pH balance in the bottle, the v Vagisil. And I know that Equate probably got theirs and Target probably got theirs and different brands got theirs. But I buy the Vagisil one and I absolutely love it. I'm going to do a video about it at some point in time. I just haven't. Um, but... I bought that one bottle and I've had it almost a year now because I don't use it for anything else, you know. And I um, I lather with Olay and Dove. Those are the only bars that I use. I did buy a Caress a few months back and it was okay, but it just didn't give me what my Olay and what my Dove gives me. Um, and so, um, you know, and I use baby oil, the Shea and Coconut Butter baby oil. Um, I dry brush every day. Um, while I'm in the sauna, you know, I slough my skin, you know, a lot. I use all kind of different uh, um, stimulation things. You know what I'm saying? All kind of different bore brushes. And, you know, I mean, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just a soft girl like that. And I'm just clean. I, I like to be clean. You know, you ain't going to catch me smelling no kind of way. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be smelling exactly what it is that you're trying to smell, baby. And more than likely, it might be a little Lancome Trezor. might be a little uh, Egyptian musk, you know what I mean? Um, it might be uh, uh, Mari, the one that uh, Loretto sent me. I love that. It might be a little bit of that. But, you know, for the most part, or that no knockoff Jordash um, Eternity, I like that motherfucker. You might, you might smell a little bit of that when I'm just on some kicking and shit like right now. I just simply threw on these black leggings. Check this out. I know, maybe I shouldn't because I don't know what the glare will give. You know what I'm saying? Let me sit my motherfucking ass down. Motherfucker be like, she ain't got no panties on. I sure the fuck don't. Okay, let me just go and say that right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but when you clean like that, you don't have... Those issues like, oh my God, am I smelling? Am I having discharges and all that old type of shit? You know, um, after my period, I now dish with a little, just a little water. I have my hot water bottle. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker that you hang on the hook that your mama used to have, the red with the long motherfucking rope. Yeah, I got one of them in my shower that I hang in there from time to time. And you know what I'm saying? I just hit this motherfucker when I need to. You just simply run just some cool water through it. No additive, no vinegar, no nothing, no alum, no none of that shit. Just run a little water through there. Though I know the bitch is self-cleansing. But, you know, after my period, just for that extra get down, I did that, what was that, last week or something? Yeah, I hit it last week. And I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't have no type of feminine odor, no like, oh my God, bitch, what's going on? And any time a woman has that, what they don't understand is their pH balance is more than likely off. Unless you have contracted some shit. Unless, or unless your ass is just nasty, you know. But for the most part, you're not supposed to really have no foul ass odor. And so I don't understand how, you know, some motherfuckers be like, oh my God, oh my God, you discharged this, that, this, this, this. No, 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 baby. When you're clean, 
Mm-mm, you don't have no odor. You can go just like this. Now, I'm not going outside with my leggings on like this with no drawers on. I'm not going to do that. Um, but I'm here in my room. I'm cleaning up this dirty motherfucker. So, you know, hey, I'm doing laundry and shit. I'm here by myself. Nigga, this was happening. This was happening. This is this is my get down. Got my hair up in a little this right here. And this was happening. You know, I'm clean. It took me a nice little shower. Cleaned my face and shit. Put a little serum on that motherfucker. And this is what's happening. Got a little lip balm on there. And that's the most I'm going to do. You know, I, I, I just like uh, to just be without all that. Because to me... With all of that shit, it's like a beard, like you're trying to cover something up. It's like all this shit caked up, man. I, I'm not going to be able to do it. Now, um, next week I am going to get my um, my minks put back on because um, I am going to go see Charlie Wilson next week. You know what I'm saying? So as I was saying, the Charlie Wilson shit, no, that was real shit. I'm going to go see this motherfucker really next week. So, um, I am going to get my minks and shit put back on. I don't know how my sauna going to work with them because the last time I had them on, you know, I wasn't getting in the sauna like that. And I had them on. I had got them put on in the summer and I didn't start going sauna full time until the end of August is where I started going in there every day. And then there's days I have to pull myself up out of here, you know, not do it today, you know, because I will, I, uh, five days a week is Mando. I mean, that is like man dope, you know. And then um, sometimes I'll do six. I have done seven days out of the week. I just like it like that. And it's like my internal time, my time. And it's like a cleansing for me. When I'm seeing all this shit, all this grease and shit popping off my motherfucking ass, it's like I'm feeling like I'm doing something good for my body, you know. It's like my organs and shit is cleansing themselves from the inside out. All these impurities and shit is just popping off my motherfucking ass and plus I'm brushing all this shit off. I really feel a cleanse and I feel, you know, yeah. So, I don't know, y'all. I guess it just be me, shit, you know. But uh, but it's working for me, you know. I mean, you know, a lot of times people be like, well, damn, Auntie, you know, what, what you trying to do? Right now, I'm just building me a little bit of muscle. I'm rebounding. I'm getting my thighs up under me good. My calf muscles is, you know what I'm saying, coming all together and shit. You know, my, my waist and shit is really coming in really, really good. You see how my waist is coming in really, really good? My waist is tiny as hell. You know, and I, and I know um, uh, I had got a PM um, on my Facebook, and they were like, well, uh, Auntie, um, your waist is so little. Is it airbrushed or what? So I'm like, no, this is just, you know, but hell, you know, let me tell you something. I had to put in the work. I had to put in the work and put in the money. Let me just go and tell you that. I'm just going to be honest with you. A lot of people are not going to be honest with you. And a lot of people are, oh, I'm waist training by my, you know what I'm saying, by my waist trainers and all that kind of shit. And that's cool. But what they're not telling a lot of women, because a lot of women is running to that. And I'm not mad at that. Okay, I waist trained myself. I had to for the simple fact that you have to wear a compression garment after lipo and shit. Now, I've had lipo, you know, and when you've had lipo, your shit is just going to be different. You're not going to gain any weight in that area ever in life anymore. Now, when I gain weight, I'm gaining weight in these big bitches right here. That's why this shit be looking like this is looking. Because when my weight fluctuates, it's not fluctuating in here anymore. This is just going to be this until the day that I die. I'm going to always have this going. Now. At my heaviest of weight, I've always had a small waist. My hips were like a 60, but my waist was a 43, you know. So I've always had that pear shape, that hourglass figure, even at my highest of weight. I've always had that. So if you are cone shape, you're not going to go from a cone shape to an hourglass if that's not your makeup in the beginning, unless you you're going to have something surgically done, like a little lipo, uh, perhaps some, uh, what, which is contouring, which is lipo, um, tummy tucks and things of that nature. You're going to have to have some of that shit done. If you're trying to go from a cone to an hourglass, it's just not going to happen without some surgical interventions. And But, you know, people thinking, okay, well, then, hell, I put this waist trainer on. Okay, just, okay, I want to know who, who it worked for. Who has it worked for? Because everybody done bought these motherfuckers. 
Hell, I got a couple of them myself, but the ones I got, I got them from Didi's. Let me just go and tell you, six ninety nine work just fine for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't wear that motherfucker no more because I'm allergic to latex and it makes me itch. You know, so I haven't worn my body garments or anything in so long because that shit itches because it has that lycra, lycra in it, just like with um, my leggings. Now, some leggings make me itch because of the lycra. But these ones are okay, but these ones are just thin as hell. Look how thin these motherfuckers are. I know you can see through them. You got to. So, um, but I like them. I think I got them on Groupon or something. I think it was like a three-pack or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like me some motherfucking leggings, you know. And I had, me and, uh, me and Kenny had went to the grocery store. We went to the uh, little Mexican market, right? It's called El Supra. And, um, oh my God, we was making, you know, cause we'd be having taco night and shit on the weekend sometimes. So, uh, we had went over there, got some avocados and shit. And so I'm over there and I'm getting my avocados and shit and this motherfucking mask and him and his friend, hee hee, oh da 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 da, oh hee hee, oh my masita. Oh, they were saying all that motherfucking shit, right? And so, Kitty was walking up and he hearing them saying all this, hee hee, and oh my masita, oh my God, and all this other shit that motherfuckers were saying. And Kenny was like, shit, he mine, he mine, he mine, he for me, yeah. I was like, nigga, if you don't knock it off, for real? <laughs> now listen, let me roll this shit into Periscope, because we was on Periscope the other night. We had a good ass time. Shout out to Jeremy, Ashton, Marquise, Loretta, Jennifer, Starkeisha, who else was in there that night? Oh my God, it was so many people. I mean, I mean, I be getting motherfuckers coming in from Milwaukee, Germany. Um, oh my God. Um, 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 it was some pork and bean motherfuckers up in there. And it was some, man, Fort Lauderdale and all kinds of, I mean, just from all over the place. And so, uh, we had a really, really good impromptu time. 